The Jackson Women's Health Organization in Jackson, Mississippi, is known locally as the Pink House because of its bubblegum-colored paint job. It's the last abortion provider in the entire state of Mississippi and the frequent site of showdowns between anti-abortion activists and rainbow-vested volunteers who escort staff and patients to the front door. Lori Bertram Roberts is the executive director of the Mississippi Reproductive Freedom Fund. It's an abortion desert. You know, Mississippi only has one clinic left. Um, and it's in Jackson, Mississippi, which is right dab, smack dab in the middle of the state. So that means for most people who aren't in central Mississippi, you're talking about at least a one hour drive, if not three hours. And the future of the Pink House and similar clinics in neighboring states feels threatened like never before. Last week, the U.S. Supreme Court agreed to hear arguments over a Mississippi law that bans abortions after just 15 weeks of gestation. The Pink House is named in the case. The court's decision was a victory for anti-abortion groups who have pushed for new abortion restrictions. They're hoping the Supreme Court, with its 6-3 to three conservative majority, will diminish or overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade ruling that enshrined a legal right for a woman to terminate her pregnancy. Eric Scheidler is the executive director of the Pro-Life Action League. I hope this signals that there's a real um, serious intention on the part of the justices to, uh, to try to you know, correct some of the damage done uh, since Roe v. Wade in the court's uh, rulings on abortion. Mississippi is one of six states with a single abortion clinic, meaning an overturn of Roe could eliminate legal abortion access for millions of women in the U.S. And abortion rights groups here and across the country view the pending decision with dread, says Roberts. This case would pave the way for being able to do more severe bans. You know, if, you're, if your state only has abortion up to six weeks, you effectively don't have abortion. The court is not expected to rule on the case until next year.